Hello Capricorn, welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber. If you're new, I um, hope you enjoy the reading. This is a general um, life reading for your sign. Now um, let's start off then with the 10th house, which is the house of career. So um, this is also the house of fame, reputation, authority figures, whether you are becoming one or whether there's an authority figure in your life or it could even be government related. It can be that. Any kind of institution uh, comes into this as well. It can also be coming into maturity or coming into authenticity or coming into your power. And um, this can be business related, um, but it's also obviously your career, but it can also be something that you may be involved in, something you're building up, something, something you're structuring. Um, it's also about your, you know, your, um, legacy, your, what you're building up, your foundation that you're creating um, to take you forward or to leave behind, as it were. So now in this house, um, we have got the void, of course, moon, which is a pause in the action. And the reason why there's a pause is because there's something that you're overlooking here. Um, this is going to tie in with the part of fortune as well. Pele is about divine passion. Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? So there's something in this house which is pointing you uh, to say that there's some going to be some reflection required. There's a pause in the action because there's something else coming in or something else you've overlooked or something you've suppressed or you've put on the back burner. Um, and this is a hard choice. You know, the divine passion is always about what motivates you. What is really going to um, get you up in the day? What is your what does your heart resonate with? Uh, and this could be something that you've always wanted to do or something that's deeply important to you, but you put it aside or you couldn't pursue it or you've suppressed it in some way. Um, it could be something that you put aside in favor of other responsibilities that you had. And it's saying that um, you need to be honest with yourself. There's something that needs to come out, something that needs to be expressed, something that needs to be done. And um, it's really to do with your heart's true desire. So this is coming into your 10th house. Um, we've got void of course moon here. So it's saying that when the void of course moon occurs, it's, it's like a pause in the action. Nothing is what it seems because the moon goes into a shadow period where you can't have the clarity and the feedback that you would normally get. The moon goes into a shadow period. Things are not what they seem. So um, something that you've been deeply worrying about may not uh, actually come to pass. But it can also be that something that has occurred or is occurring in the 10th house. You may have um, wanted to go after a position or do something in this house um, and the opportunity kind of got missed or you may feel like you've missed the opportunity or there was a mistake or some kind of um, some kind of occurrence which uh, you feel like you've missed an opportunity or there's a failed judgment or a mistake or something like that or just something that you missed. You weren't paying attention and you missed it. But this is saying that just to let it be, disconnect and let it be because there's something else that you need to look at. There's something that you've overlooked here or you've suppressed or you're not following up on, something which is more aligned with you and your purpose and your heart. Uh, so you're going to have to do go within. There's a lot of reflection required. That is one of the reasons for the void of course moon. Void of course uh, is, is about pulling your energy back. There's a pause in the action. Um, if you're trying to fix something, you can't fix it now. You must wait until um, this period has passed and then you will be able to move forward on it again. But this is a time of rest, recovery, dreaming, planning. It could be something that you want to do, um, but that that has gone on hold. And now you need to stay as you are for the moment. So stay with your normal routines uh, and just wait for this shift in the action. You know, the, it's normally about a week, this period, but it could be longer. Uh, and it kind of gives you a time to where you can plan and dream, but you pull your energy back uh, and don't invest your energy in anything at this time, which is important to you. Don't launch anything. Don't go into big um, actions at this time because I feel there's something else coming in for you. Something else is going to come in, but you have to connect to your to your heart self. You have to connect to your heart first and your passion uh, because it's it's something else is coming in for you, but there's a pause period. Now, as I said, Mercury um, is going retrograde, kind of ties in with the void, of course. So from the 14th of Jan, um, it will be moving backwards into Capricorn uh, until the 4th of Feb, and then it starts to go direct again. So that whole period is a period for everybody to be reflective, and it starts out in Aquarius, which is all about um, you know, invention and the future and so on. And then it goes back into Capricorn, which is like 
planning. Capricorn is very much about foundations and planning and structure. Uh, so there's a kind of a going back to the drawing board kind of an energy. And so I feel you need to go back and have a look at things again and just wait for the opportune moment, but do some planning and dreaming in the meantime. Okay, so that's coming in. There will be a lot of reflection required that's coming in here as well. With the eighth house, oh, sorry, just before we go on, we've got five of autumn here. So reach out to others for assistance. So you need to tap into your sacred self, your spirit team, God, the angels, uh, whoever it is that you are connected to. Um, and if you're not overtly connected to any uh, anything in particular, then go within. Uh, that is what Nematona is about. It's going into your sacred space. You create a sacred space within yourself, but you can also do it in your home. Or you can connect to nature or you can connect to um, spiritual places, uh, places that hold a lot of power. You can go there, whether it's a chapel or a, a place in nature or an historic monument or just a place that has powerful meaning. It can be symbols. You can connect to symbols as well. Um, whatever it is, there's some sort of sacred space that you need to go into. Um, um, and this is connected to pulling out your inner wisdom. So, and also don't forget to ask your angels or your spirit team for help. Ask the universe to assist you to come to some decision or to pull out what it is that you need to at this time. It also says poor timing for a career change, which I feel is the case here. You may feel that you've either missed an opportunity to change something or you wanted to go after something, but something has occurred here. And it's saying that it's poor timing. So this is not good timing to make a, a, a big change. And often with Mercury retrograde, if you do something or you try to change something, it goes awry. And that can happen with the void of course moon. It's it, You may just get do something and then you've got to change again shortly afterwards. Or you go after something and then your heart choice, the thing you really want, the thing you really want most um, in the world comes afterwards. And now you've got to change again. So it, it, it's just saying rather stay as you are for the while until you get the go ahead to move forward. So um, it can also be feeling challenged by money issues, which is coming in with the eighth house as well. So now with the, um, that's why I say I feel just wait, wait, because something is going to come in, but it's it's got to come from your inner reflection as well. And also tapping into what is your heart's true desire. Eighth house is, is the house of union. You know, this is how uh, joining together uh, forces. Um, this can be in a, um, in a, in a relationship, a love relationship, or it can be in a business partnership. So it's also about that, but it also is also about endings and beginnings. So something could be ending here, but there's a pause period and then something new is beginning. It could also be a cycle shift. You could be entering a new cycle but you're just in that transitionary period between um, with the eighth house it can also be about sexuality so if this is to do with a partner it can be to do with that but the union is normally the nuts and bolts of how that union is going to fit together so it's the emotional and material resources and that's why it comes into the eighth house which is also your money house this is big money this is um, to do with like investments insurances tax accounting banking any kind of investment it can also be about legacies and also to do with inheritances. So that may be appropriate at this time as well. Uh, but it could also be your uh, karmic inheritance in some way. This can also be about handling other people's resources. Uh, you may, that may be a profession for you. There is also the um, aspect of um, something passing away and something starting. Now, this can be a physical death, but it's normally to do with um, the death of some structure or like a, an ego death or some aspect of your life that's falling away because there's going to be growth in a new direction or it could be a regeneration or a renewal. So this could be you coming home to this heart desire, which you've kind of suppressed or you haven't followed up on in your life. It could be the regeneration and renewal of that, or it could be a, a partnership or a relationship. Um, but it's, it, it can also be the phoenix rising from the ashes. That can also be with the eighth house. Now, I feel it, it, it could also be to do with the monetary situation. You may just be waiting on something or you are... Um, working very hard at something but I do feel that this is also about this is also about psychic um, interpretation the eighth house so it could be that you are you need to connect in some way to your sacred self or to the divine or to a sacred place or symbols um, and this is about growth in that regard but it is also going within to get guidance and uh, so that's coming in because there is a very special thing coming in for you. You've got the Yod Destiny here. Now, this is saying that you have some sort of special purpose or path which you're needing to follow. And you may need to let go 
of certain things in order to go after this. Now, this um, may not be something that everybody else is on board with around you. This is normally a very personalized thing. It's a very specific path. It's it, You can also be the black sheep of the family in some cases, um, or you could just be marching to your own drummer. Uh, so you may be separate from others. You may be going in a different direction. This is a very personalized journey. It's about going within to your inner GPS, listening to your own inner guidance, because it's going to lead you in the direction that you need to go in, step by step. You may not see the end result. You may not even see the path, but you listen to your inner GPS, listen to your guidance, and you will be able to follow this. And each step will be revealed to you as you go along. But it is about special purpose. It's about destiny. It's about coming into your own. Uh, it could be a very sacred journey that you are going on. It could also be like a quest, a spiritual quest. It could even be a spiritual journey and you've got the ninth house here. So it could be literally a travel related thing like a spiritual quest or a visiting an ashram or going somewhere or doing something which is very sacred and very personalized for you and something that you really are longing to do or you would have always wanted to do. It could be connected to that and you're going to uncover things. You're going to learn things on this journey, whether, as I say, whether this is a physical journey or whether it's a p very personalized internal journey, take it as it resonates for you. Um, so this is, um, this is, it's not going to be easy. Uh, this has got, uh, a few frustrations and there could be a bit of chaos while this transition is occurring because you're having a cycle change. There could be a bit of turbulence going on. You could be letting go of some things, going into other things, shifting and changing. Um, so there could be a bit of chaos and turbulence. But in this, you listen to your inner GPS, listen to your inner guidance and you will be, you will find your way. It's also about, um, you may be working in secret or you may be working alone quietly on something. It's a very inventive energy as well. It could be very uh, constructive in that regard. It could be very personalized and sacred, as I said, something very unique and special to you, which you are busy doing at this time. If it's a partner related or a relationship um, related, it could be that this is a very sacred and special journey that you are on with this person or in this relationship or partnership. So that all ties in with the eighth house. Uh, which could could be very much about the, the coming together in a in a special union, but it's a sacred journey that you are on. So now, related to all of that, uh, we do have the um, North Node coming in here, which is all about life, your purpose, which is connected to the Yod. So this is about your purpose, your destiny, your fate. Um, and then we've also got your money, your golden opportunity. Again, this is something that's fated, something very uh, important. It's coming straight for you. It's coming in on the tide. It's going to bring you incredible happiness. She looks incredibly happy. And it's a golden opportunity. But I feel you've got to go through this uh, reflective period and this getting in touch with your sacred self and listening and learning and following the signs, okay? Following the signs and the steps and how you are being guided because then you're going to see this. This opportunity is coming straight for you. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. So I feel once you've got through this period, and it may even be that you need to ask for help or to receive guidance at this time, then you're going to get this opportunity coming to you. Now, this is saying that when this opportunity comes, now I feel you're going to know it. When you see it coming towards you, you're going to know it's coming for you. Don't be afraid. Don't fear, which can come up with the eighth house. Don't fear this change, all right? This is destiny. This is fate coming straight for you. It may be something that you've wanted, you've kind of avoided, something that you didn't, uh, take up or didn't go for for whatever reason, which is why you've got divine passion here. So this is something coming straight for you. It's uniquely for you. And uh, it's saying that all your skills, all your talents, your abilities, or whoever it is, whatever it is that makes up you, your authentic self, everything that makes up you is going to accompany you into this experience. So dive in. Don't hesitate. Don't procrastinate. Just go for it. Whatever it is that's coming in for you. Once this period of reflection has passed, uh, because this is going to open a lot of doors for you. It's going to bring you a lot of happiness, success, whatever is appropriate for you. Um, so don't hesitate or procrastinate. But if you do, then the opportunity will pass you and go on uh, elsewhere to someone else. And then you'll have to wait for the next one to come in on the tide. But it's important that you do this because um, with the North Node, 
Uh, this is about faith. This is about destiny. It's also connecting to your soul tribe, or it could be a, to a soul person, a soul mate coming in because you've got the eighth house. You've got destiny and fortune and fate uh, written all over this reading. Okay, so this is something very unique, very special for you. North Node is a big door swinging open for you. You may have been knocking at that door for a while, or it may happen abruptly. This can happen with North, uh, North Node. It can literally be one day to the next. It can cause quite a bit of turbulence, which is what I said, um, because you're literally changing direction. You're going from one place that you were headed in, thinking it's the right thing, and then now you may be going in a completely different direction. This can be a 180 degree turn. So, but it's a big door swinging open. Um, it's something meant for you, something very important. This is your life's purpose or a part of your life's purpose. You may not see the big picture, as I said, but something is opening up for you. You need to follow it. And um, it's also uh, very much about connecting to others. Now, whether this is a soulmate or a soul people or soul tribe coming in, whether, only, whether they only come in for a short time or a longer period, you know, you have a contract with them. They're coming in to support you and you are going to support them. Uh, it's a, you know, a, a mutual contract. And um, they're going to help you in some way. So, and you will help them, obviously. It's a mutual thing. But you're going to feel deeply comfortable or very uh, connected to these people, almost bonded. And um, whether you're collaborating or they're just coming in to assist you with certain things, it could be something really simple, you know. But it's a very much about the future. It's about moving forward in life. It's about getting on mission or going on path or however you want to look at it. And it's divinely directed. It's also positive karma. This is positive karma that you've built up over many lifetimes. Now that door is swinging open for you. Right place, right time. So wait for that timing. Um, as I said, it's a golden opportunity. With the void, of course, moon, there's a pause period. And it may tie in with the Mercury retrograde, as I said. So take it as it resonates. But this is a time for planning and dreaming and and opening yourself up to this opportunity that's coming in for you. Now, we've got finally the ninth house. Um, now, the ninth house uh, could be related to travel, international travel or long distance travel, but it can also be an internal journey. It's got this wonderful exploratory adventure aspect to it. So it could be a physical thing. It could be a spiritual quest that you're going on or a yoga retreat or some kind of sailing around the world or journalism or some kind of pilgrimage, something like that could be coming in. Um, so everything to do with that, it's seeking, it's seeking the truth in some way. So whether this is, uh, you are, um, changing your, um, where you're living, because with the 10th house, the 10th house is about your career and your outer self and what you're aiming for and higher figures and, um, figures of authority and all that. But the opposite is your fourth house and that is your house of home. And, um, there will be this balance, uh, at the full moon on the 17th of Jan between Cancer and Pluto. Cancer, uh, full moon in Cancer, which is about the home, personal issues, domestic things. And then, Pluto is going to be at an angle uh, sitting in Capricorn. And this is all about uh, Capricorn rules the 10th house, which is the house of career, fame, reputation, outer self, authority figures, and so on. And that's 17th of Jan. So I feel there's going to be this this issue coming up. You may have to make a decision about where you're living or where you're going or what you're going to do or the spiritual quest or whatever. You may have to make a decision, but there is some there is some um, thinking and planning to do in the meantime. Okay. So the ninth house is that seeking energy. It could also be to do using your intuition. It could also be to do with the law or legal matters. Uh, you could also be studying because uh, this could be to do with higher education or adult education. It seems to me that there is some studying required, whether you're entering a phase of study, like uh, you're only just going to university, or whether you're embarking on some other research or some other studying um, to do with something else that you have always wanted to do or you would like to do. Um, there's some aspect of that coming in. It can also be learning from foreign things or foreign people, foreign cultures. It can also be related to import or export from a business point of view. It could also be connecting to others online or learning things online with, you know, that's internationally based. It can also be to do with religion, philosophy, uh, or belief systems of all kinds. You could be having a massive change in that regard at this time. A lot of people are going through that now. You could really have a crisis of faith with this ninth house. But I feel 
what it is is that you are connecting in some way to, to some aspect that you've overlooked or you suppressed or you just haven't focused on in your life, okay? Um, it could be an inherent talent or something like that. There is a risk involved here. Uh, it can also be to do with um, sort of connecting to uh, faith, uh, or wisdom of some sort and the gathering of that, you know, all of that comes in. It could also be studying law if that is a situation for you. But with the part of fortune, um, this is always about connecting to some aspect of yourself which has been overlooked. It's like your pot of gold and there's a trigger that sets this off. So somewhere in here, there's going to be a trigger, what I've already discussed, and this is going to stir this up. Um, so you could be connecting to a talent or a skill or something that's inherent in you, or you could be accessing some aspect of yourself which is going to bring you recognition or rewards or gifts, something that is going to drop in your lap or is going to push you into the spotlight in some way, and that's also to do with 10th house. 10th house is fame, reputation, a change of a public status, how people see you in the world, um, some some sort of shift from a status point of view, um, but it's going to, something is going to come in and something is increasing and it's usually to do with an upwelling of your notoriety or your skills your talents or some good fortune uh, you know madam fortune is smiling on you with this but it's also finding your pot of gold and then monetizing it or harnessing that talent or that whatever it is that comes to light during this period all right so very very busy very uh, again it's about fate and destiny all coming in with this um, when it when this occurs there's going to be a lot happening there's going to be a lot shifting green tara start delegating ask others including me to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself so once you've accepted your quest or you've accepted what it is that you need to do there are going to be shifts and changes you may have to change your home or you may have to travel or you may have to do some uh, soul searching in some way um, and then there's going to be aspects which you need to delegate and this is because you need to plan time in for yourself to do this planning, dreaming, resting, or journeying, um, you're going to need to plan that in. And so aspects of your home life or other aspects uh, of your life will need to be uh, sorted out and you're going to need help. So delegate to others who can assist you at this time. Or it could be to do with work-related matters or domestic matters. So like um, if, you're, if you're going on a trip, what is happening with your home um, and so on. You know, there's various ways that this come in, but you're going to, you may need people to assist you or you may have to get services into a situation. Whatever it is you need to do, start delegating so that you can plan timing, time in for yourself to make good decisions. And this is important. You need to sit and meditate and go within and make good decisions about what it is you're doing, or you may just need help to plan this and get this off the ground. Um, lastly, uh, bottom of the fairy tarot is Princess of Autumn. So studying or gathering knowledge is coming in very strongly with this now it says here studious responsible cheerful mischievous um, happy news about your career promotions or scholarships well thought out plans that go perfectly needing a little push to get going so the little push could be this trigger or the stirring up of something, or it could be this going within to reflect and then the answer comes to you. It could be a big change that suddenly abruptly comes for you with the North Node. So one door shuts and the other door opens. So something coming in, but it could also be, it's going to require planning. There's going to be a little bit of research or learning maybe coming in for you, but it's good news, whatever it is. And don't be afraid to take this opportunity when it comes in for you because you've got destiny and fate written all over here. So um, I wish you well. And if you want to stay on for the uh, love reading, please do. Otherwise, um, please take care and have a wonderful um, uh, period going forward now.